was five crazy women got together in the fall back in 02 <laughs> and wanted to just have a place for the, you know, like Christmas to show our art. And we sent out 16 letters to local artists that we knew and we had over 30 people at our first public meeting. And we were like, oh my goodness, there must be a need here. I think it just kind of threw everybody that we had so many people wanting to do this that they had nowhere to display their art or their crafts. And so it just kind of mushroomed a lot more than we thought it would. Um, when we first opened up, I think most people did not think we would succeed. And it was absolutely amazing the number of artists that were in this area that just kind of came out of the woodwork. The Artist Coop is, is, um, consists, it's more like a cooperative, and we have about 60 artists, either full-time members or part-time members, and every, all the work is done on a volunteer basis. We started out asking our neighbors and our friends, people we go to church with, if they would be willing to help us, and they have just been absolutely fantastic. And we continue to be amazed that when we do our annual mailing, to renew those memberships, they do. And a lot of times they increase it from the year before. Because I think they're glad to have something here for their children to be able to come to. The children do love to show off their art and they're very proud of it. And even we had one child say, told his mother that his first painting that she had to put up in a special place because when he got through with all of his classes, he was gonna bring it back out and show her how much he had improved and learned. Well, I definitely think art boosts their confidence, and I think it, they can also express their emotions and feelings through their art. We um, teach classes and um, to all ages, adults and youth, in all mediums, from watercolor, oils, acrylics. Well, a lot of times when you're older and, and you've been doing art for a long time and maybe you've just sort of put it aside and not done it for a while, if you can get together with a group like you who likes to paint, no matter what the medium is, it becomes a kind of like a club or a group and, and I know it will work because they can come here once a week at no charge and they can uh, feed off of each other about is my work, you know, what I need to do and everything. Maybe they want to bring a sack lunch or something. Of course, they've got all these nice restaurants on the square that they can go to, but I think it will really be a big benefit for the town and for us too. Don't think of us as a place to come and spend your money. Think of us as an art gallery because we have all kinds of art and you know, you're not going to see some of this stuff any place else. Well, we try to do a lot for the community. We want to do more. Our goal is to keep growing and offering more to the community and, um, and I think we're slowly getting there. The more that people find out about us, the more support they give us and um, in fact, uh, it, at times we feel like we're growing too fast for some of us the board to keep up with, but then again, we're not about to, you know, sit back because we want it to, you know, keep growing. <laughs>